My name is Melissa Adams. Uh, I'm a blue belt from Canada. My name is Jonathan Porcinat, 23 years old, from uh, New York, New York. I trained at Marcelo Garcia Academy in uh, Harold Square, Manhattan. My name is Gareth. I came down to Rio about six weeks ago to compete and to train for the Masters, International Masters that took place here in Rio um, just last week. The way of the samurai is found in death. Meditation on inevitable death should be performed daily. Every day when one's body and mind are at peace, one should meditate upon being nipped apart by arrows, rifles, spears, and swords. Being carried away by surging waves, being thrown into the midst of a great fire, being struck by lightning, being shaken to death by a great earthquake, falling from thousand foot cliffs, dying of disease, committing seppuku at the death of one's master. And every day without fail, one should consider himself as dead. Well, really, I mean, it was it was all so quick. I arrived, and within within 48 hours, I was competing. I was at the Rio Open, and that's huge. Um, so I had really had no intentions of competing. It was a last-minute decision um, to to register uh, right before I came, and um, being there, it was so much bigger than any of the other tournaments I'd ever been in. I just tried to take deep breaths and relax, and it was also exciting that it, it kind of took the pressure away from it because, I mean, God, I'm in Rio. It's, there's no pressure. If I lose, so what? If I win, great. And I did. I'd always had an, wanted to go into Brazil anyway, and I thought it would be a good excuse to go down to compete in the International and the World Masters Championships. So I came down, full, trained with the guys down here, got had some good, good training partners, some good coaching down here as well and um, he competed there and he got a bronze. It was very well organized. The competition, they gave times when things were going to start and they started in the time they said it was going to. And they had the brackets up with plenty of notice beforehand. And everything was ran like clockwork. The guys who it was actually better run than the Europeans. When I, there was the guys that were running it, spoke English, they were able to help me out and tell me where I was supposed to be, what matter was on. There was no confusion, it was as easy as competing at home. It just came out down to luck. Uh, I, when I checked for like tournaments, cause I really wanted to try to do a tournament while in Brazil. I found out that the Rio Open was happening the same time it was going to be down here, so I decided to sign up for that. Uh, I was probably here for maybe a week, if that, <laughs> before this started. Uh, it's probably this is my first competition at Blue Belt. Uh, I competed once at White Belt at a local tournament, but I never competed on something on this grand scale like the Rio Open before. It was uh, it was it was kind of surreal, just like seeing like. All like these like YouTube videos, like all these videos I've seen like in the world, it's like back in the day, it's like I'm at the same place like where all these like great matches have happened throughout the years. And to see like all these different teams, like you come in, you see like the grappling fight team, like banner, the check map banner. I was just like, wow, this is like, this is it. Like even though it was like only like blue, purple, brown belt day, like it's still just like surreal to see how much like people are just there just for just to compete yeah I uh, had a little bit of problems with like uh, weight cutting so <laughs> I ate a little bit too much acai so that didn't really uh, work out my favor but uh, the fight itself um, had a little problem with the gi situation my gi uh, for some reason or another this wasn't uh, legal so I had to borrow someone else's gi so I was a little bit nerve-wracking in the back of my mind before I competed and, like um, I came all the way down here I'm not gonna be able to compete but um, pretty much my my goal was just to try to take him down get inside control and just like work my game from there to get him out work for submissions from there but um pretty much it didn't go <laughs> as planned he had a he had a good base yeah he had a good sprawl uh, pretty much try to play guard from there but he was like really good on top pass where it took my back which I'm not really good from escaping from like from turtle but it's all um, I really liked it because I really like competing because this showed me like where I really need to work my games at because like all the stuff that in the back of my mind like I didn't really I should really like pay more attention to that which really exposed in the match I'm just like hmm. even though I'm thinking it it's really been shown like in competition so I really got to go back in the gym and like fix those things when I go back home and while well, I'm still here they said nine o'clock, it started on the button at nine o'clock. We arrived in the door at nine o'clock, my name was called straight onto the mats, so it was my own fault for not getting there early, but I assumed 
after previous experience, usually these things run late, but they didn't. So I was straight in the door, straight onto the mats. So the first fight was my warm up. So I was happy enough with my performance that I managed to pick a win, get a submission out of it, and won by by a triangle choke. So I was happy with that, but lots of mistakes in there too when you look back over the video. But that, oh, oh no, not too bad. Okay. Second fight, sorry, I was warmed up, so things went a bit better. Um, like before I'd gone into the competition, I thought, okay, have a certain game plan. If they pull guard, go for the pass, go for the certain passes. Had a, had a kind of a plan worked out. It halfway worked, ended up almost passing the guard, but ended up in a half guard position and managed to pull off a, a collar choke, so it was over quick. So that was a relief, to be honest with you. Third fight, the fight for, for bronze for the semi-finals. Um, I went, didn't go the way I wanted to. The guy was a very good opponent. He came over from the States to compete. Um, I was happy I managed to re dominate the standing more or less. Um, I lost, I got a throw, I managed to throw him, but I landed out of the area. Um, I really, I was gassed, to be honest, which I hadn't been training as hard as I should have been. So that was my own bad, really, you know. But uh, I, next year, next year I'll be back and, and win it, you know. I, I'd love to come back to Brazil, it's a great place. Maybe compete again next year, maybe win gold. Um, so hopefully, if I get the chance. I've competed in five competitions, and all of which there, it, there has been no uh, uh, weight divisions or um, experience levels. Uh, we're all lumped together, so I kind of wanted to try a competition where there was where I could be put in my own bracket and, and compete against people on a on a level playing field, um, which I did. There was only four of us in the division, but it worked out okay. I had two matches, and the first match um, I won on points. Um, it was a tough match. She was she was really um, she was really tough, and but uh, I remember hearing one one point that I was down two points. I was uh, in her guard, and that I had to pass. So um, I poured it on at that point and and tried my best to pass, which I did, and held her there. And. Yeah, she. I saw her fight and I was scared because I watched her uh, beat the first girl and I thought that there was not, not much chance that I was going to be successful with her. And she was. She was tough. I, I had uh, uh, almost got her in a triangle in the beginning, but I mean, it was, it was really sloppy and she slipped right out. And uh, then she was all over me, had my back, had mounts, she was passed, no problem. And uh, yeah, near the end I found that triangle and wasn't going to let go. And yeah, I got a submission in a tournament. I got the gold medal. Yeah. <laughs>